Hello guys, Cole Bush here, and I am joined by the local neighborhood Democrat. Say hi, Chase. Oh, that's good, guys. And we are not just doing any video, we are doing a Clash of Clans video with the Sausage Party Review. Take it away, Chase. Oh, no, it was a pretty funny movie, but it just had some moments, you know, like any movie does, but, you know, that this is a special case. Jesus Christ. Which meaning, if you want to get scarred for life and see a food orgy and never look at your food the same way again in real life, go watch Sausage Party. And watch a weird imitation of Hitler. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He he vowed to kill all the juice. The juice. Those poor juice, they didn't stand a chance. The worst part about it had to be the fucking douche. Yeah, that, that, that fucking just... Like, it's that poor guy, he hated his job enough. Yeah. And if you're wondering what the douche did, it basically just shoved itself off a poor manager's ass. And then made him randomly shoot a forty four Magnum into the air. Oh no, technically he made him shoot other food products with the 44 Magnum. Anything else you want to comment on at Chess? I mean, besides the fact that I can kind of see my friends and each and other, every character in that movie, not really. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'm just disturbed for life now because of that movie. Yeah, next time I hear you say, hey, you want to watch a movie? I'm not going to trust it. Oh, you will too. You know you will. You know you like the movie. It was pretty funny. Yeah, honestly, it was pretty fucking funny. Didn't really understand the part about the flaps being the Arabs. <laughs> That's gonna be the worst part. <laughs> Seventy two bottles of extra virgin olive oil. I mean, uh, I've I've seen worse. I heard worse. I mean, look at Howard. <laughs> yeah, poor poor Howard. He does watch these videos, Chase. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's actually a subscriber now. Oh. Hi, Howard. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I need a shit ton more Wait, Dark Elixir. I've got 3,000. Now I'm down to like 2,000. I'm trying, I, I've, I'm trying my best to just save up so I can upgrade my hog routers. And then maybe one last thing, i got to upgrade this here laboratory. Right. But if you didn't know, guys, me and Chris are extremely, both extremely close to going to town hall. Eight. And we have exactly one week of school left. And we're going to try our best to be going, you know, be reasonably close to being Town Hall 8 by the time that summer starts. Yes. Because of our little rule to finish upgrading everything first. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of elixir that I've got to get. See, my problem with that is, is it, like, what I got left to do is pretty much stuff I should have done from the start. Like, what I call 
concentrated on when I went to Town Hall 7 is I concentrated on my defenses. Yeah. That was really my downfall. Well, not my downfall, but, like, what happened was after I got my defenses done, I started primarily just raiding and working towards my walls, not upgrading, like, my collectors or anything like that. Mm Mm-hmm. It kind of just bottlenecked me into this situation where, like, I would either have to, after I got my defenses done, I was sitting there thinking to myself, I was like, should I start working on my walls or should I start working on my collectors? And then I decided to start working on my walls and my traps. Yeah. first, then my bomb, regular bombs, then I got my walls done, then I did my spring traps, and now, I'm just now getting to where I'm starting to upgrade, upgrade my collectors, and my, my collectors, and now I'm literally left with doing my collectors, my barracks, and spells and dragons and hog riders in my laboratory. Yeah. Also. like what was important like I, you did what you thought you had to do like didn't you just do like core defenses first then you start doing your walls or did you start doing your walls and defense I did like, I my did. cannons very first and I worked on my archers I didn't really mess with my wizard towers or my uh, huh, mortars and air defenses all that much And then I did basically all my walls, and I did all my gold and elixir collectors, and I did my gold storages, and I haven't done my elixir uh, elixir storage yet, and I did my army camps. And one lonely little bitty army barracks. See, I, I got to do my, I think, three or four barracks. Because I already have one upgraded. Yeah. I got to do. I got three of my elixir pumps upgraded right now, right? Yeah. And then I can. I gotta, oh, and I gotta do my dark drill too now that I think about it, and that's another two million elixir. Yeah. So, right now I'm pulling a trick out of your book. I'm using 200 archers (laughs) to try and farm. Well, technically, if you don't want to use 200 archers because it takes like 90, 94,000 with healing spells. You can do the minions, and they only cost one dark elixir right now. Well, I would do that, but I'm trying to save up my dark elixir so I can upgrade my others. Yeah, the minions only cost one dark elixir. It's a hundred per a hundred dark minions for a hundred dark elixir. True, true. And you get three hundred. It's an event that's going on. You get 300 XP and you get 30 gems for it. Well, then let me edit this hog rider. Attacks that I got saved up in my barracks. 100 minions. 3 lightning spells. Save. Let me get rid of this army of archers I have trained up. And we have a very rest town hall 8 here today, guys. Yeah, that's what I've been using. They do pretty well sometimes, depending on what you're going up against. Right now, I'm going up against a pretty low Town Hall 7. Right now, I'm saving up some minions for 
another raid and I'm saving up another hot I'm doing a hog rider raid for the Pekka's Playhouse. Uh, you're still trying to clear that? Three star all that area, the campaign? No, I just want the I want the elixir out of it. It's got 700 elixir. Mm. I need to go through and do the rest of it. Like I did a very streamlined thing down to the very last one. I need to go back up and clear the areas that I haven't cleared if I remember correctly. Yeah. I need to do that, but I really don't want to at the same time. Well, Chase, I do believe I shall end the video here. Uh -huh. Say bye, Chase. Bye, guys. Me and Chase will see you in the next video. Peace, guys.